Hi, this is Norm from MyBearQuest.com again. And I hope you remember uh, Paul, my friend Paul. Uh, he's been in quite a few of these uh, beer expeditions. And this expedition is another beer sent to me from Danny Cox, which, uh, Danny, I can't thank you enough for sending me all this beer. This fabulous, wonderful uh, Belgian beer. And this one's called uh, Grimber. Uh, it looks Grim like Grimbergen. Grimbergen. And I believe the same brewery. Uh, Paul has actually uh, been in another expedition where Danny had sent me beer. I think it's the same brewery. But this one's called Phoenix. And it's 6.7% uh, alcohol by volume, which is pretty high uh, yeah. for a blonde ale, anyway. That's true. <laughs> but it's, a little, it's, it's another one of these little Belgium. Yeah. And, and Norm, I'd just like to say that, you know, thanks for having me do this. And I think this is the first time I've done a, a can with you. It's no. always been bottles, I thought. No, uh, uh, actually, the last time we did one was uh, sent to a me oh, by Dan. Oh, another one was? You, you have to look back. Okay. Uh, he's been in more of these things. I thought. defer to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, I, I, I'm i pretty sure uh, Danny had sent me some other ones that uh, you happened to be over... Uh, Again, helping, I'm helping him with his computer again. And, uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> but uh, I'll, 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 I'll actually link that video to this. Because, okay. Yeah, All right. But let's open this up and uh, try it. Up. I, th I think it's the same brewery, actually. I, I could be wrong, and if I do, I'm going to cut all this out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gave you the Chimay glass. Uh, okay, these are both yeah, Belgium sure. beer glasses, but uh, he has the wider rim. Uh, so yeah. it'll be interesting because I have the t more tulip style glass. Uh, you get the different area. Um, right. What do you call it? Area. Uh, Aeronax or whatever. Not sure what. You know, aromatic? I don't know what. Yeah, you're aromatic, uh, which gives different flavors to the beer. All right. Uh, but, yeah, well, it's it a seems to live up to its title. It's definitely got the, the sort of blonde look to it. Yeah, you know. and uh, and mine has a bigger head than his, but that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> well. Oh yeah, it's like nice. It. It's smooth. Yeah, it is. It, it, that's what I was going to say or, too. Uh, yeah. There's there seems to be a, a, a hint of uh, a fruit flavor in this, but it seems to be a, a lot of I guess the Belgian beers seem to have a little bit of a fruit yeah, taste. Yeah, a it. little bit of fruit. They, they're uh, Belgian beers are not normally known for their hops. I don't know if that was something that the the Germans or the English put into their beer, but basically a preservative is uh, like they Belgians I think uh, use more of a rosemary and other things to preserve the beers, but I'm not really sure. Okay. Uh, coriander, maybe. Uh, oh, but, that actually makes sense. But uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is it's very nice, very smooth. Mm -hmm. I, I actually really enjoy this beer. Yeah, this would be one that I would have again. I like this. Mm -hmm. It is definitely smooth. You could do this in the summertime or even in the winter. It doesn't matter. It's, yeah. it's pretty good year-round, I'd say. If we can even get it here. Yeah, well, so, that's true. <laughs> like, yeah. thank Danny, because uh, I, I don't think you can even get the, that one here. This one here. So, well, what do you think? I like it a lot. Good cool. going, Danny. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time. Cheers. Enjoy your beer. Cheers, Norm. <laughs>